Hi, really nice subject today and a super easy colour scheme, so stick around and I'll show you what you're going to need to paint this. I love this picture. This is a great one to get started with because the uh, the colours are pretty much straight out of the tube. We have uh, three colours plus black and white. So what I've got here uh, is indigo, I've got titanium white, ivory black, cadmium yellow and chrome orange. Now you've seen cadmium yellow and chrome orange before in the oranges video and unsurprisingly they are going to be uh, uh, straight from the tube. However, with the orange there is a little bit of a trick for the shadows. So let's just open them with the background colour. So I've chosen for that one indigo. Now indigo itself, very very deep colour. Um, really the only way you're going to get an impression for how uh, this colours is by putting it on a piece of piece of paper. Now it's worth doing this, paper, card, whatever you've got, the edge of a piece of canvas, whatever you're working on. Um, because what we're going to have to do here is add the tiniest bit, and I mean really the tiniest bit, of white into it as we fade down. Because you'll notice it's uh, darker at the top than it is at the bottom. You can see what's going on here. A little tiny bit more. Let me see what we've got there. So basically by uh, creating tints of the indigo you can go from the uh, the deep colour uh, through to uh, to the lighter colour. Now you're not going to see that just so clearly here uh, but what I'm going to do, just use a wipe here to take off that white, is I'm going to take the colour that we have and then I'm going to run the tiniest bit of white through that okay so there is the colour scale for the uh, the indigo, the fountain fell from the uh, top to the bottom. I'm going to do a very similar thing actually uh, with the uh, the orange in a moment. So the yellow, my mysteries with this, beautiful colour. If you want to with this one you can uh, add a bit of the orange into it, run that through and uh, we've done this a few times now. but create that gradient again and uh, pick the colours that you want as you go from the orange through to the yellow um, and what we're going to do with the orange itself same deal again is uh, just going to run some uh, black through that let me just grab a little bit more here so we're going to create in the same way that we've created tints of the indigo going to use black instead of white and we're going to create uh, some shades. You need the tiniest little bit of this so be careful with the colour. Now as you'll have seen me do, uh, do before it's not a bad idea to clean your palette knife off just to get a little uh, bottle of oil if you've got one handy, linseed oil, safflower oil, walnut oil works really quite nicely for this and basically run that back through just to make it as uh, workable as you're going to need uh, for this particular painting. So there we go, I haven't put a lot of the colour out but that uh, gives you the idea. Now these are all quite transparent colours but uh, as you'll see here, if we just uh, bring the, uh, the uh, piece of paper back in, is we're running from the yellow through to the orange on the one. And we're running from the orange through to the uh, darker shades for shadows with the other. 
there you go. So sometimes it's useful just to get yourself a little scrap of paper to see what this is going to look like when it's on a white background, particularly if you're dealing with very transparent colours. Uh, but there we go. Indigo, titanium white, ivory black, cadmium yellow and chrome orange. There you go. Lovely image. Um, I'd recommend with this one that you print it out and uh, trace it as a starting point unless you want to uh, just try and draw it yourself. Certainly don't need to make life difficult. Um, and it's a lovely one to, to get, you, uh, get you painting. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. If it has, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers.